Redneck show. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm trying to get a hold of the uh, uh, the Ku Klux Klan Recruitment Center. How do I do that? not open until Mondays. Oh, it's on, I'm open on Monday. She you got a phone, I, you know, if you're uh, trying to call over there. Pardon? Uh, does there a phone number I can call over there on Monday? No, I haven't. Who am I speaking to? Uh, this is Ned. Who? Ned. Ned who? Ned Schnitt. Well, the only thing I can tell you, I don't give any information like that out over a phone. If you come here in person, I might can talk with you. Uh, okay, well, you see, I'm from Greensville, and I, you know, just wanted to get a little information instead of... Well, there's a lot of them calling here wanting a little information. Yeah, because it's a long drive. Just, you know, I'd like to get some information on the phone. He doesn't got a phone. Mm, we don't give information on the phone. Do you give your information on the phone? Where was you born at? I was born right here in Greenville, South okay, Carolina. how old are you? 53 years old. Uh, how many is in your family? There's eight of us. Eight of you? Yeah. And how long you lived up there in Greenville? I lived my whole life, 53 years. Okay, send me a copy of your birth certificate, a picture of yourself. And I'll uh, do my best to answer your questions over the phone next time you call. Okay, what I got to send you? The birth certificate? Mm-hmm. And I'll be glad to answer any any questions you want over the phone. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just... Yeah, you understand when I just asked you a lot of personal questions? You're foolish giving me answers about personal things. What you need to do is come down here. Well, you, should, I, you know, I, I didn't mean to upset you. You're not upsetting me. Okay, well, you know, I just, I've always... This is a redneck shop. Well, I, I know. Uh, didn't that answer your question when you answered the phone? When I answered the phone, this is a redneck shop. I'm sorry, I'm very, I, 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 my sincere apologies. Redneck shop. Yeah, I'm sorry, we seem to have been cut off. Redneck shop. Now, listen here, you redneck piece of crap. You just... <laughs> You chicken feeding plowboy, you son of a bitch, I'll kick your ass. Redneck shop? Yeah, could I speak to Jethro Bodine? You're too busy f***ing Ellie Mae. Hello? Yes, yes. do you have any naked pictures of Goober? Redneck shop? From the Hello? Andy, from the Mayberry RFD series, perhaps Ken Berry. Redneck shop? Yes, in the words Hello? Of, of that true American Rodney King, can't we all just get along? Oh, something get wrong with my telephone. I don't know what it is. I think it's up your ass is what I think the problem is. Redneck shop? Hello? I'm looking to buy an ashtray shaped like Ned Beatty's <laughs> hole. Redneck shop? Yes, uh... Hello? Yes, do you have any mini pearl blow-up dolls? Redneck shop? You can't hear me, can you? Can you hear me now? Red, redneck shop? Why can't you hear me, you redneck piece of what is wrong with your phone, you asshole? You pathetic, inbred mother f***ing bastard. Hello? Redneck shop? Yes, do you have any more of the Confederate flag tampons? My wife just loves them. She's not even on her period, she's using them. Yes. Redneck shop? Yes, sir. Uh, Hello? I was wanting to get Hello? some Confederate flag corn cobs for my outhouse. Yes. Redneck shop? I wanted to get a Confederate flag condom so you could s*** my d Redneck shop? Could you get the miracle ear out of your ass? Redneck shop? Get it out of your ass, Hello? you backward ass country f***. You stupid inbred piece of s***.